Simon's Quest. Push any key to continue. We're really going to do that joke? No, we shouldn't. It's not even funny. All right. I'm Drew, writer for Damage Control. This is my friend Chris and occasional cameraman. Hi, I'm Chris. I'm an occasional cameraman. No, I'm not reading the prologue out loud. Let's just go into it. All right. So Simon's Quest was one of my favorite games growing up. And it wasn't until I watched the video review of it that I realized, in retrospect, how horrible this game actually is, um, despite how much I loved it growing Ouch. up. Are you, are you sure you're just not too excited about the angry video game nerd? Well, that's what I'm referring to, and that was his first video. So I, I don't know, is it is it irony or is it intentional that this is our first video? Ah, who's to say? First thing to do in this town is read very slowly as text scrolls very slowly. One of the criticisms of Castlevania 2 is that you couldn't possibly figure out how to beat the game on your own. Well, well I mean, the, the villagers tell you everything you need to know. Well, we're going to find out because it's been such a long time since I played this through. I don't even know if I remember all the simple little things. So we're going to be talking to everybody. We're going to be searching for every book. Are you going to buy a white crystal? Yes, I am. Good. For a lot of good, it does. And now I'm going to go kill monsters to get 50 hearts so I can... So you're current... Oh, and wow. you're back in the town. Thank you. There, happy. Uh, that's much better. All right. So, how many hearts have you collected so far? Zero. And how many hearts do you need? Fifty to get the holy water. And that was worth. That was worth two. Right. Now, just a couple of things to point out about the game system. Uh, you do gain experience and level up. It will give you more hit points, and that's about it. The game also keeps track of time. Well, game time. Yeah, you can get the best ending if you beat it, I think, within a week. Game time. Yep. After that, you'll get the boring ending, and if you take way too long, you'll get the bad ending. Now, um, if, if, if you fail and Ganon wins, that leads you to... What, what a ending? horrible night to have a curse. Well, that just takes you right out of the game, doesn't it? Uh, not really. I'll build up hearts much faster this way. What? Now these but half that looks a like hearts, half a heart. Yeah, well, they're worth more than the tiny hearts. So half a Those, heart is worth more it's than, worth a, three. than a full heart. Like a regular heart's worth two, a half a heart is worth three, and a large heart is it's either worth five or ten. Uh, but notice the experience you're getting uh, for leveling up uh, is based on picking up hearts. Huh. So if you kill an enemy and it, you don't pick up a heart from it, it doesn't drop one or it does and you don't pick it up, no experience for killing it. No. But the enemies appear to be much more difficult to beat. That one took four hits as opposed to two. Yes, enemies daytime. take uh, twice as many hits to kill, but they're, uh, you know, not to MMO it or anything, but uh, their drops uh, improve a step two. Uh, the other thing to note about night is that the towns are crawling in zombies, and you can't enter any of the buildings. I always thought those were nuns when I was a kid. I uh, don't know why. Why are they green? You know, I was a kid, I thought this game was good. That obviously, I wasn't thinking well. No, I think, I think this game is still good. I think it's, uh, you know, it serves with, uh, it is uh, the prototypical uh, Metroidvania Castlevania. I mean, the entire world is interconnected, and while there's not a great deal of exploring going on, you have to dig around, find items, you gain experience, you change your weapons. I, I think what they did is what a lot of great game franchises did with their second installment in a series. You look at um, the second Zelda game, the second Final Fantasy, the second Mario. They all completely go in an alternate direction with their game, to try to do something with as many different elements as possible. Um, they take what works and try to build on that 
and they, they scrap what doesn't work. That's why third installments tend to be so much better. You look at Super Mario Bros. 3 and how much better by using the elements of 1 and 2. Um, you look at the Castlevania 3 and even though it goes back almost completely to the style of the first game, it still plays a lot better with some of the things that it got from the, the second game. Yeah, I do like the uh, branching paths you get to take in Castlevania 3. It, it really added a lot to the replay value back when, you know, back in the day when we played a game more than once. Right, <laughs> absolutely. Um, that's, that's the one thing I think that this game, when you were going back to Metroidvania right. styles... I've got the 50 hearts, now I just have to wait for 6 in the morning for daylight to come up. Uh, do yourself a favor and don't fall into the town water supply. Yeah, yeah, we'll take a look at that a little later. Okay. But, well, I suppose the first thing I need to do is go to the church and refill my life. While you're being attacked by angry green nuns, what's well, the church gonna do for you? Well, I don't know, maybe I haven't, uh... Maybe I haven't, uh, done my fair share of, uh, contributing to the collection plate. Oh. Uh, it's kinda like Scientology. The morning sun has vanquished the horrible night. You know, you'd think after games like this that the slow texts would have faded away, people would have realized that it's really annoying, but in games... Alright, I want to point, I want to interrupt you and point this out. Rest here for a while. Very Zelda 2. <laughs> yeah, well speaking of Zelda, even as far as the most recent Zelda game, Skyward Sword, you still have that mandatory slow-moving text that, I mean, games for, for 10, 15, even 20 years have realized is not entertaining, is not good, and people don't want that. Uh, well, even though I was inside there, the clock is always ticking in this game, except when you enter the mansions, or the pause menu. So, I'm going to equip my items here. Okay. This, this top row will become more important later, but for now, I have my holy water equipped. And luckily, it doesn't use up your hearts. Ah. Oh. So, if I... I just spam it all over the place. Hooray. Spam, 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 spam. You know, it's, it's very handy at doing things below you. Uh, but the holy water later in the game will become pretty antiquated because once you pick up Dracula's tail, your uh, whip will be able to break blocks. Ah. Alright, and this is where I'm probably going to die. Oh, you're not gonna. You missed a heart. Yep, no experience there. Yep. And that's where you died. Missed him. Alright. So. Oh dear god. Son of the devil. What? I don't, I'm not sure. Dracula. Dracula. I, I'm not really. Prince of Darkness. Well, in the... So would that make him the son of. No. Darkness? He was just some guy who kidnapped a Belmont's, uh... I'm trying to remember, I didn't play, uh, Castlevania, whatever the first PS2 game was called. I played Curse of Darkness, but the first game was supposed to be the actual origin of this all. The creation of the vampire killer, the first Belmont who hunted vampires, and, I did, you know, I did Dracula game, coming yeah. into existence. And here is our first mansion. Now this is why we bought the right crystal, so we could see this platform. So if we... I, well, no, I can't deselect it, but if I could... You would no longer would, see the platform. I would no longer see the platform. That's it, that's all the white crystal does. And then you trade it in for a blue one at another town. Now I think one of the issues a lot of people had um, with this game, as opposed to... Castlevania's 1 and 3, and most Castlevania's after it. Castlevania's all take place in a castle. Hence the name. And these mansions are kind of small for what 
what a Castlevania game should have for a castle size. And they're also missing one fundamental element of a final boss. Yeah, there are only bosses in two of the... Is it five mansions or six? It's been a while. It has been a while. I don't remember. <laughs> Alright, I'd like to uh, mention that I can't jump. I would also like to mention that uh, one of the reasons we're doing this uh, Let's Play is because uh, my fellow writer, uh, Jeffrey, or Geoff, I, I'm not sure it's a... Uh, I mean, as, as you read, we, we know that he's a uh, uh, G-E-O-F-F, -F, Jeffrey, but there are some people who deliberately pronounce it Geoff, so I'm not really sure. I've never heard anyone say his name in person. But, so, if I'm saying Jeffrey this whole time and it's not it, I'm sorry, Geoff. <laughs> but it's going to be Jeffrey for... until I'm done talking about oh. it. Oh! Oh! But, it's just as well, I believe there's a book at the end here, but, so... But, remember, quickly hit the A button as soon as you touch the book. No, I don't want to dismiss the text. But it's important. A symbol of evil will appear when you strike the stake. So, between bad English and unhelpful hints, and it, it could be a challenge trying to beat the game using the clues it gives you. For those of you who have never... <laughs> either played this game or seen the angry Nintendo nerds uh, video. Something important. Dead. <laughs> some, something important like whatever that hint was can only be seen once and if you accidentally hit the A button while you're trying to read it it's gone for good. You can never read it again. No, sure, you just have but, to leave the mansion first. But, support... Su <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go, but go absolutely ahead. useless crap information like, what a terrible night for a curse, or... Alright. Well, let's see. The curse has been lifted. You are forced to read over and over and over again. See, this was another issue, uh... That was complained about it was the invisible platforms or the it's invisible purpose. lack of platforms mm. but uh normally you can use the enemies to gauge where they are but if you can't jump like me well you're out of luck well there, there's the uh the other test is throw holy water everywhere you step right now i'd rather just equip the eye once we got it <laughs> well yeah it would be way easier the eye's not going to help you with this mansion. No, no it's not. I know where the gap is. I'm just jumping horribly too early. Alright, so let's see. Alright, that guy will walk toward me, so I know that ground's safe. Now we're in the back half. You see that guy down there? Yes. I have to make sure I've got uh, 50 hearts again. Oh, oh I you just leveled, leveled up. up. Alright, so I have 102 so I can buy a steak. Notice the experience rolls over after you level. So, I can buy the steak, which you need to uh, get the item at the very end of the mansion. Alright, nope, nothing there. And when you lose your third life, you'll lose all your hearts, and it would be a shame, because I'd like to buy a new whip in the next town but I'm probably going to die again. Now what do you do with that stake? Are you supposed to strike the stake? Yes. Maybe this book will tell us how to strike the stake. Destroy the curse and you'll rule Brahms Mansion. Brahm Stoker? Yeah. But, you know, not that enemies disappear or anything, I mean, you know, the best way to load up on hearts to pick up equipment is to just keep going through the mansions because time won't pass. 
A flame flickers inside the ring of fire. I'm not sure if that actually means anything. I'm pretty sure that's crap. I mean, there's another clue about where to find the actual flame item, and that's not it. No, and that other clue is also crap. Something about the top of a tree. Um, which it's not on the top of a tree. Okay, you see how he won't walk in front of those? Yes. Ta-da. Ah. So, yeah, usually the game is big enough to put enemies right there. For you to tell. Alright, and here we are. The end. I'm going to equip the stake. Why? These are one-use items. Yeah, I don't know how I knew to do this. Yeah, that doesn't look like striking the stake. Doesn't look like a circle of fire with a flame. Yeah. What do you now possess? Dracula's rib? Dracula's rib. And the rib... It looks like an arm bone. It's a shield. It will block projectiles. Was, was that the boss of the game? Right no. there? That little circle? The rib? What? The circle? I mean, what? Are you done now? Yeah. That's it? That's all there is? That's all there is, and now you have to walk all the way back out. How do you get down there? Are you not supposed to go down there? Oh no, there's there's a way down there. I'm going up here first. It will be quicker to exit <coughs> taking the lower route, but since I know I'm going to die and lose all my hearts, I'm going to buy a steak again. Because I'll just need it for the next mansion anyway. Oh. You can only carry one of these at a time, I believe. Sure, I've got my holy water equipped. Good. Castlevania series just uh, last year celebrated its 25th anniversary. Yeah. To not much of a note from uh, Konami. You know, it, Konami, they don't seem to promote the right games at the right time. Capcom does that too. Yeah, um, we so didn't really did get much out of uh, Mega Man, did we? No. That would be one of the large hearts there. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so I have 34. Now I have 40. Alright, so they're worth 6. And, um, and for that matter, Nintendo didn't really uh, do much to uh, celebrate anything other than the Mario 25th. I mean, Metroid and Zelda went by. At least they recognized um, Zelda by Zelda releasing got a few quite games. A, yeah, Zelda got a lot of games. And they now have a timeline out, which is only out in Japan. Um, but Timeline's there's, kind there's of still, interesting. There's still translations that are available. Oh no. Is, is one of those... Oh, you no longer have your... Uh, yeah, I don't have the crystal, the, so I the can't white, see the it. The white crystal. Oh no! Okay. Oh! It's still there. Alright. 